How's it going everybody? It's been a while since I shot a video in front of the 450, so um, as you can see, I, I took all the rock out of it and um, got these bad boys in here that were killing all the shrimp in my 180. Uh, these are silver moonies. Took me a long time to figure out that that's what was eating all the peppermint shrimp. So got those out of the 180. Anyways, on to the uh, product review that we're doing today. This is the carbon filtration stuff um, from Neos. It's called Active Carbon on their label. I really don't know how I'm going to use this yet because I tried looking online for pictures of, of uh, you know, what size granules it was, if it's pellets, it, how small are they, how big are they. That would affect the uh, application that I would use it on. So let's take a look. I've already broke the seal to help speed along the video. And I couldn't find any information about what type of carbon it is, but judging by the size of this pellet, um, this is pretty basic stuff. It's, you're probably going to want to use this if you have a, a, a light use for it or if you want to remove ozone from your tank. Um, not the most super efficient stuff for organics or coloration. I would probably double up on the dosage on this um, for its effectiveness. But let's see what happens. I'm going to pause the video and run this for a day. So I actually decided that I'm going to use this um, Ocean 5 100% nylon filter bag for... I'm just going to dump the whole liter of this active carb from Neos into this bag. I'm gonna throw it in the sump right in front of the return pump so that it gets nice good circulation. Um, and I'm gonna put it on the, the 450 here. Um, it's it's kind of hazy. Um, I put a brand new filter sock on it a couple days ago and um, it hasn't really collected anything yet. So uh, let's see if the carbon can help uh, get this tank crystal clear again. So here's the whole liter of carbon in that filter bag that I just showed you. I'm going to rinse it in some RO and then plop it in the sump. So it's actually been about 24 hours since I put the bag of carbon in. And um, it's looking a lot better in there. Um, it's a big tank and with this type of carbon the bituminous, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's it's basically that, like we showed in the beginning of the video, that pellet. It's really convenient, and it's easy to rinse, doesn't create much dust, um, and you can put it in a filter bag, um, but you do have to use a bit more of it to get the water clear. Um, generally, this type of carbon is relatively inexpensive as to, opposed to some of the more efficient brands or, or types I should say um, you might have to do a little bit more rinsing on some of the the higher grade carbons but if you prefer to just use a filter bag or a filter sock this is probably the right carbon choice for you it doesn't like I said it doesn't require much rinsing you can just throw it in a bag throw it in the sump and uh, you'll be good to go. But I do recommend that you double up on the dosage if that's what you're going to do. However, if you do have a reactor that you can run carbon in and you uh, want to get something that's a little more bang for your buck, I would do a search for the ROX and you should be able to find that on this site. Uh, the, the one by TB Aquatics, ROX is going to be a, a much higher efficiency than this but I would also recommend that if you're going to use the ROX that uh, you put it inside of a media chamber and in this case it's a little bit cheaper than this but if convenience is what you're aiming for this is definitely the choice for you okay guys thanks for watching hope you like checking out the 450 in the garage and uh, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button. Give me a subscription and uh, you'll get to see more reviews and more fun stuff that I'll be doing.
coming soon.